good morning, Road Harvest Church. It's so good to see you today. Why don't we stand to our feet and let's get ready to give God praise. Give Him some love this morning. Here we go.
his goodness that's going to take you into your next. But have we thanked him for where he brought us from, for where you are right now? You wouldn't look this good if it wasn't for the goodness of the Lord. Makeup can cover up a lot, but there's a testimony under that Maybelline. that we want you more than we want anything else that's right father god we don't really care about the blessings that you give us we just want your heart we want you we want your heart we want to love people the way you love people yes. we want to see people the way you see people oh, yeah. do something fresh in us today god your word says morning by morning new mercies yes. You bestow upon us. So since you bestowed a new mercy this morning, let me see you in a new way. Because your mercy is never changing. Your goodness is never changing. Father God, we lift our hands to you. We say we want to see you. We want to feel you. We want to encounter you today. We want to encounter you today. We love you and we love your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. sing about you. We got to encounter you, our King. Honor and majesty, glory and praise. You were all powerful, you're loving and kind. So we join in unity to lift you high. And let our worship rise. Let our praises.
called September to remember. So as you're taking your seats, we have a video we want to share with you. Christ at one with us. Through his grace uncovered, grace unfiltered, grace undeserved. In a day and in a culture where everything is being redefined, we need to be reminded of how important it is to live right. Devil, this is Jamie Tuttle. Can I tell you, I cancel that in Jesus' name. Because I know how you act when you win. I know how you praise when everything works out. But what about when it doesn't go your way? When God established praise, it was established before the foundation of the earth. Good morning, everyone. Well, I'm not where I'd like to be. I'd like to be right there with you, shouting, jumping, running, dancing, clapping, waving. I am here in bed where I've been since Thursday night after a great, great, great breakthrough taping with my friend Steve Muncy. Did a little wrong move on my back and Doc says I have to be here this morning where I've been since Thursday night. <laughs> Everything is fine. Thank you for your prayers. Especially pray for me this coming Tuesday because Pastor Tim Houston and myself have an incomparable honor, lifetime opportunity to place a wreath on 9-11 at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier in Washington, D.C. So pray for us. And then also Antonio Burroughs, Wednesday night and Thursday night in Elkhart. And I'll be with him in both places. We're gonna have a great, great time. So I love you, have a great service. Anything I found out during my time when I was down with vocal cord cancer is that our team is the team, the true dream team. These elders and leaders and Harvest Music Live are going to do everything under the great anointing of the Holy Spirit today, and you're going to love every bit of it. I love you, and I'll see you Wednesday night. Can anybody thank God for our pastor, Pastor Rod Parsley? Come on. We ought to thank God for a man like that. A visionary who's not just touching our lives, but the lives of people all over the world. I want to invite everyone to stand with me, if you would. Everyone stand all across this great Summerall Tabernacle. We're going to go before the Lord in prayer on behalf of our pastor and our first family. It's never a bad idea for a congregation to pray for their pastor. Amen. And this attack shall not stand in Jesus' name. Is there anybody that can give their agreement to that this morning? Come on, get the hand of somebody next to you and let's believe God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your goodness and mercy. We thank you for your healing power, which is at work in Pastor Parsley's back and in every part of his body right now. We thank you for the virtue of the Lord Jesus Christ, the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. And we thank you that it is working 
and doing a perfect and complete work in him right now in the name of Jesus we thank you for raising him up Satan we rebuke you in the name of Jesus take your hands off our first family in the name of Jesus Christ this attack shall not stand we thank you Lord God for doing a supernatural and swift act of recovery in Pastor Parsley's life. If you believe that, lift your voice and give your affirmation to it. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen. Praise God. Thank you for your agreement. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Open your Bibles with me, if you would, to 2 Corinthians chapter 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Somebody said, well, why is that significant? Well, because in our reading plan, as we're going through the Bible, reading the Bible, I said we are reading the Bible. Together, we're reading the Bible. And we'll get through it all in a year. But Friday... One of the passages that was uh, prescribed to read was 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Now this is significant because Paul is receiving an offering. He's receiving an offering. Somebody said, you mean they received offerings in the Bible? Oh yeah, yeah. It's not some new doctrine, all right? It's not something they just thought up in the 20th century and it carried over to the 21st. Paul was receiving an offering. And listen to what it is that he says, beginning with verse 6. But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Let every man give according to the purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or out of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. God is able to make all grace abound toward you, so that you, always having enough of everything, may abound to every good work. Ah, oh, that sounds like a good place to say amen right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here's what it is that Paul shared with his friends in the city of Corinth. He said, how you sow is how you reap. It always gets quiet when you start talking like this, but it's true anyhow. How you sow is how it is that you will reap. So if you want to reap more, thank God, start sowing more. If you want to reap more consistently, sow more consistently. It's just real simple. That is a principle that we see throughout the Word of God. How it is that you sow is how it is that you're going to reap. Now here's another thing that Paul points out in this passage of Scripture, and that is the attitude of your heart is important when you sow. He said, don't sow out of necessity or because somebody you know compelled you to. Do it cheerfully because God loves a cheerful giver. Somebody said, well, why should I be cheerful about my sowing because that seed that you sow has the power in it to change your life forever hallelujah now not everybody may believe that this morning but it's all right you just stay with me and we'll get you caught up i said that seed that you're about to sow has the power has the potential to change your life forever we need to begin to think of ourselves differently than we think we really do think about how you would feel if you didn't have a mortgage payment every month think about how you would feel if your debts were all paid off ah, hallelujah well you ought to get happy this morning my brother and sister because God's placed a seed in your hand and he's about to multiply it so that that will be your testimony. Somebody give God some praise in the house. Yeah, God! 
Amen. Look at somebody next to you and say, you got to give cheerfully. Amen. Now, revival is continuing here at World Harvest Church. I thought I heard somebody say amen right there. And there's two ways to stifle revival. One is to stop praying, and we're not going to stop praying. Amen. I, let me try that again. I, some of them are falling off here, Pastor Tim. I said, we're not going to stop praying. Amen. amen. We're not going to stop fasting. We're not going to stop believing. We're not going to stop expecting supernatural things to happen. And supernatural things continue to happen. I just got a report just a few minutes ago. Someone in our congregation got the report that they had, they had cancer. That was the diagnosis, cancer. And they've been undergoing treatments from then, about three or four years ago until now, for that situation. They had their last scheduled treatment last Friday, and they got the report that their body is cancer-free today. Come on. Cancer-free. We curse cancer in the name of Jesus. We cast it out of those that are attached to this body of believers. Cancer, you shall not stay. Somebody shout! I got a report last week. Somebody told me that their former neighbor had been in the hospital because of a heart attack. This neighbor that they'd lived next to for 30 years had a heart attack and was in the hospital. He was in his 90s. He said, I went to visit him. And he said, I'd never had an opportunity. He was never open to this possibility before. But he said, I asked him a question. I said, are you ready to meet God? The 95-year-old said, no, I'm not. He said, would you like to be? He said, yes, I would. He said, I prayed the sinner's prayer with him there in the hospital room. That man is in heaven this morning because God is visiting his people. Somebody ought to shout about that. We are not satisfied to let revival be stifled by our lack of praying or our lack of fasting. And we're not going to allow revival to be stifled through our lack of giving. Somebody say amen. 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 Now, you heard Pastor Parsley say he's not able to be here today because of an attack in his physical body. We already prayed about that. But let me tell you something. One of the best ways to discourage a pastor is to not give when he's not there. Oh, oh yeah. You want to do something to help Pastor Parsley? You want to do something to encourage him this morning? Get a seed in your hand. Amen. Amen. Here's how you do it. Just look up on the screen there. Choose one of those methods. And somebody said, well, I've got cash. Put it in an envelope. Somebody said, I'm uh, making out a credit card or a debit card. Go ahead and fill out the spaces on that envelope. Those of you in Elkhart, we need everybody to participate with us this morning. Those of you online, you may not be able to be here and serve like everyone else on our dream team, but you can sustain revival by your giving. And we appreciate your participation with us. And we're believing God for the same things that happen here, the same miracles and signs and wonders that you hear about here in this house to happen in your house as well as a result of your participation with us. And we thank you for it very, very much. Hallelujah. Get your seed in your hand. Let's believe God together this morning. I said, let's believe God together because somebody is going to have a miraculous testimony as a result of a seed that they sow here today. That might be the seed that you're holding in your hand that I'm talking about right now. The next testimony you hear from this platform might be the testimony that you have as a result of what God does as a result of your obedient giving right here this morning. Hallelujah. Get your seed in your hand. Let's believe God. Elkhart. Get your seed in your hand. Online, go ahead and click that 
button on your screen and follow the prompts. Let's believe God together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you for your love and your blessings. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that we have the responsibility and the ability to sustain revival here in this house and beyond as a result of our obedience this morning in giving. Heavenly Father, we give cheerfully. We do not give grudgingly. We do not give of necessity. We don't give because somebody compelled us to. We give because we are joyful about it. We're happy about it. We're glad for the opportunity to place a seed in your hand so that you can transform our lives as a result of it so that you can continue to cause others to come into the kingdom of God as a result of it. Father, we're happy about it this morning. We thank you for it, and we look forward to seeing what it is that you will do as a result of the seed that we sow in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Well, go ahead and give us unto the Lord. Gentlemen, wait on the people and enjoy the ministry of the harvest of harvest music live and the harvest music live chorale
you can. Let's work. Hey, my God, let's worship right here. Come on, Elkhart, Indiana. Come on, RodParsley.tv. Come on, Facebook Live. Let's join in and sing hallelujah. Let's give God the highest praise. Lift your voice. Begin to cry out. Everybody shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Now put action with your shout and everybody dance. Come on, lift your voice right here. Lift your hands right here. Begin to cry out. The Bible still tells us, they that hunger and thirst for righteousness shall be filled. If you're looking for God, pursue him with your worship. If you need anything from God, pursue him with your shout. If you're if you're desiring deliverance, scream, yell, wave, jump, spin, clap, say hallelujah. worship right now let all the praisers praise right now let all the thankful people lift up a sound right now all of those that's been experiencing revival come on shout right now those that need a breakthrough I dare your online family do something right now cause God's about to come in and touch you right where you are I want to make an announcement you walked in here one way this morning, yeah. but here's the good gospel news. You're about to leave here. Change this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I got to do this. Find a neighbor and look at that neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't know what your it is. I don't know what your it is. But your it, but your it, just got better. Just got better. Yeah. Just you didn't find the right neighbor. I want you to find the neighbor that's Holy Ghost filled. Fire so back to. I need some elders to get with Brother Gordon right now. I need some leaders to get around Brother Gordon, and I want you to repeat this and say, "Hey, friend." No, 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 look at him. Look at the neighbor. They're going to be with him. Say, hey, friend. Hey, friend. I don't know what your it is. I don't know what your it is. But your it but just your it. got better. Just got better. Your pain just got better. Just got better. Your struggle just got better. <laughs> Your mind just got better. Your body just got better. Your finances just got better. Your family just got better. Your job just got better. Your will just got better. Whatever it is, just got better. in this room. The delivery power of God just dropped in this room. What you've been looking for just showed up and it's on the other side of your shout. Yeah. 
just, just got, got better. better. My children just, just got, got better. just showed up your miracle just showed up your breakthrough just showed up your healing just showed up the way of escape just showed up your child just showed up your mother just showed up your father just showed up your deliverance just showed up your victory just showed up whatever you've been needing just showed up Whatever you want, just show up. Just up. Hey. Revival. It ain't showing up. It's already here. My freedom is already here. My joy is already here. My peace is already here. My freedom is already here. My next level is already here. Already the here. next dimension is already here. already here. My smile is already here. Already here. Already, 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 already. And since it's already here, my praise for it. Victory is already here. It's 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 already here. Already, 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 already here. Already here. Already here. Already here. I don't know who this is for. Maybe it's not anybody in the room. Maybe it's somebody watching online. But father and mother to be. Father and mother to be. Your child is coming because he and yeah, she yeah, yeah, yeah. is already here. Hey. Already if here. you've been believing for a baby, shout right now. High five three people and tell them your it just got better. Your it just got better. Your it just got better. Just got better. 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 I hear some. Better. I hear some. Better. It just got better. It just, it just got, got better. better. Let me prophesy to the world. When you watch it on Wednesday, it, it just, just got better. better. Uh -oh. yeah. When you watch it on Friday, it, it just, just got, got better. better. Regardless of what the doctors say this week, look at them and say, it just got better. better. Yeah. Regardless of what the baker said, it, it just, just got better. better. Woo! 
your Bible and as you're turning to the book of Haggai as you're flipping through the pages look at the word and say it just got better as you're holding that word look at it and say it just got better exceedingly abundantly above all why the word it just got better exceedingly abundantly Above all, what the word? Clean up, clean up. Turn to Haggai, chapter two. Hallelujah. Chapter two, verse nine. Chapter two, verse nine. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Haggai, chapter two. Please don't mind her. She just caught the revelation. It just got better. It just got better. Chris, just the symbol. Everybody, it just got better. We gonna try it again. Chris, just the symbol. Everybody, it just got better. Turn it on. Okay. Hold on. Sometimes in these moments, we say things prophetically, not realizing the significance and the, and the power that's on our words. You remember us? Look at your neighbor and say us. Say we. Say us. And we were standing right here and we looked at that camera and we said, Pastor Parsley, you know the man that we just watched the video on, laying in bed, not able to get up since Thursday night. I was with him. Ha! Huh, it just got okay. And we prophesied. Someone said, We, we prophesied. prophesied. That's why it's important for those that ain't been through next steps. You need to come be a part of this yeah. prophetic family. Yeah. Hey, and this is what he said as we were prophesying to him. He said, Tell them, are y'all are like, man, y'all ready to go nuts? Like, okay, y'all ready? Us just clear paths. There's about to be a running spell all up in this church. He said, Tell them, I am up walking unassisted. Under this anointing, I want you to praise in this anointing until your pastor starts running. Y'all missed it. I said praise until he taps back and say he is running. He just got better. Okay, listen, listen, hold on, hold on. Okay, because that was, that was cute for you. That was okay for you. 
Elkhart, that was good for you. But right now, the spirit of being undignified before the Lord comes upon you right now. Yep, I feel it. Elder Canfield caught it. And when I give this testimony again, I need for all the real sons. See, now I'm going to put them on the spot. I need for all the real sons and daughters, those that are watching at, at home, City Harvest Network, all the real sons and daughters, make your way to this altar because we're going to praise God for our pastor until he tells us he's running around his house. So I'm going to say it again. And when I get there, lose your mind. Our pastor said to tell them that I am up walking around my house unexisted under this anointing. If you're ready for our pastor to move from healing to being made whole, I want you to shout. I want you to scream. I want you to It just got better. <laughs> it just got better. Hey, it just got better. Turn it. It just got better. 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 It 
just can't pass. It just can't pass. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You got another one? Now, watch this. I promise y'all I had a word, man. I swear I did. But that's okay. I heard a prophet say something two weeks ago. Uh-huh. He said, preacher, yeah. tear yeah. your notes oh. up. Oh. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to tear that map book up, but... Now watch this, because some people say, because you know, we hear about testimonies all the time. We hear about them all the time. Uh And we never get, y'all excuse me, I'm sorry. No, I'm not, I hope you get just like me. We hear about them all the time. See, when you're obedient, you get to do stuff like this under God's glory. That's another message another day. But we get to hear about them from people in Indiana, people in California, people in Africa. But we never get to lay our eyes on the people that God actually touched. But today... Not only did we see somebody get touched by the power of the Holy Ghost, we saw the angel of this house get touched by the Holy Ghost. Y'all need to shout right there because I'm about to say something. I mean, scream right there. Shout right there, Elkhart. Elkhart, scream right there. Now watch this, I got two minutes, actually I got one minute and three seconds. It's amazing for us to celebrate over people we can't see get their miracle. But it's a whole nother level when we get to see them experience their miracle. But here's the good shouting news. We're in some other place when we pray for our pastor. We prophesy over our pastor. In a matter of four minutes, our pastor took up his bed and started walking. And I want to prophesy to all you draw me out. I want to prophesy to everybody in Columbus, everybody in, y'all keep shouting, everybody in Elkhart, everybody watching online. I hear the Holy Ghost say that this is the season you're about to take up your bed and walk. Somebody scream. Shout and praise God that you're about to take up your bed and walk. I don't stop shouting. Don't stop shouting. The next miracle we shout about might be the one you have to say. Oh! Might be the one you have to share. Might be about somebody in your household or your family or your neighbor. Somebody is about to testify. Just let me tell you how this works. While Elder Brunson was up here telling us what it is that happened to our pastor, the Spirit of God spoke to me about sharing something with you. But here's the thing. He went ahead and did it. He went ahead and did it. He said, whoever it is among you 
not just among us here, but whoever's in Elkhart, whoever it is that's watching online, there's something in your body that's afflicting you, that's causing you pain, that's keeping you from getting here or keeping you from getting outside. I want you to know Psalm 133 says, Behold how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. It's like the ointment, the anointing that starts at the head. Well, it started at the head this morning, my brothers and sisters, but it doesn't end at the head. It runs all the way down through the beard and into the very hem of the garment. Whatever way you're connected, whatever way you're attached, that same healing and miracle working anointing is working in you. Somebody take up your bed and walk and shout about it right now. the atmosphere some people are even questioning why do we always have to move this way most of you that's looking at your feet I won't look at you it's okay it's all right but you got to understand something it was the first thing I was gonna say and this is the only point I'm gonna give you okay I guess we got to put some scripture on some of this stuff That's why some of you forget it because you don't have no word when you leave and you have no reference to go back to it. Revival is a result of your response. You don't just wake up in the morning and wake up in revival. Revival comes based upon what you did yesterday. And here's the scripture. I feel the Holy Ghost. Here's the scripture. Sanctify yourselves today. Because tomorrow I will do wonders among you. And I want you to know World Harvest Church, City Harvest Network, Elkhart, Indiana, RobParsley.tv, and Facebook Live. We are walking in yesterday's wonder today. Because we've been praying, all the prayers, wave your hands. Because we've been worshiping, all the worshipers, wave your hands. Because we've been tithing, revival is here. Come on, turn to somebody and prophesy over them. Come on, proclaim their future. 
You're the head and not the tail. You're above and not beneath. You're coming into the greatness of the kingdom. You have no lack. You have more than enough. You have no sickness. You walk in healing today. You're not weak. You're strong. And in your midst of your weakness, he makes you strong. Why? Because it just got better. It's overtaken us. It just got better. Like waves of anointing, waves of power, waves of provision. It just got better. World Harvest Church, it just got better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're casting a shadow. I said we're casting a shadow today. Our first lady said that the word of God reveals to us that we have the ability to cast a shadow in our in our tomorrow, into our future. And I just came by to tell you that I see a shadow laying over this ministry. And it just got more than better. It keeps getting gooder and gooder. That's how they say it where I come from. Hey, if you believe it, shout for the next 10 seconds. I want you to find about five people, give them a high five on your way back to your seats and tell them it's already better. It's already hey, better. I said something this morning. This is that this is, yeah. which was spoken of yeah. by the prophet Joel. Hey. That in the latter times, yeah. <laughs> your old men would see visions and dream dreams. Your sons and your daughters would begin to prophesy. It just got better. It just got better. Come on, cast that shadow this morning. Tell somebody new it just got better. Hey! Yeah! It just got better. Maybe not in your world, but I'm drawing a circle and I'm going to stand in it. In here, it just got better.
to the band's dance that pastors him is healed. Come on, Cameron. Push it through, Cameron. Push it through, Cameron. I feel another round of that, Chris. I feel another round of that. Here we go, do it again. Push it through. 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 Come on, Karen. Dance for your family. Even the sound man get the Holy Ghost. It just got better. It just got better. Hallelujah. Hey. Is there anybody that can hey. agree your situation just got better? Hey. Hey, run, sister. Hey. Let me tell you something hey. about casting a shadow. Hey! You heard our first lady talk about great events cast their shadows before them. Let me tell you something, my brother and sister. The brighter the light, the more distinct the shadow, shadow. is. We got the light of the world! Hey. you need to know about casting a shadow the closer you are to the light the bigger the shadow you cast yeah! somebody needs to shout in this house Just got better. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Let me tell you something this morning. What you don't know is at five o'clock this morning, I couldn't stand. I had to crawl to the counter. And the first words that came out of my mouth is the devil, I will dance in church today. It just got better. If you want, but I wish somebody would shout with me this morning that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that He could ever ask, think, or imagine. Hey, it just got better. Just got better. Hey. There's a wave of healing coming across this room right now. There's a wave of this. Raise your hands. There's a wave of healing. Elkhart, there's a wave. There's a wave of healing coming. It's there. Hey. Let me testify. It just got better. Hey. It just got better. Woo. I got up here to do something. I got up here to 
remind you it just got better. Hey! Woo! I hear my pastor saying, go on, son. Go on, son. Tell it. It just got better for you. Testify. It just got better. Testify. Let me cast a shadow into your tomorrow. It is already better. It's already there. Somebody's about to get some hey. unexpected good news hey. tomorrow hey. that you're shouting about right hey. now. integrity 40 years and because of that we reap the benefits that the glory of the latter house will be greater than the former house hold on Sarah Sarah in presentation get ready I told him sitting on the front row, he, you believe in Pastor Tim that he is a man of God? I told him this morning, sitting on the front row, he has no idea what I'm about to do. So this is proof. I said, all day yesterday, I wanted to call you and tell you what the Lord gave me to speak about. And I said, but I just didn't do it because I didn't want nothing to be manipulated. I didn't want man, Germain, to get in the way. Can you show, did you hear what the man just prophesied that the glory of the latter house will be greater than that of the former house? And then he said, because we're going to reap the benefits of 40 years of ministry. Sarah, can you put on, is that true? Did I tell you? Let me just, that may not mean much to people who haven't been here very long. Let me tell you something. I've seen the glory of the former house. Hey! And we're going to see things greater than what we've seen for the past 40 years right here at World Harvest Church. Hey! Now I want you to show them the title of today's message. Jesus! Jesus! Because we are about to reap the benefits 
of the 40 years of ministry that's happened in this house. Now watch this, because you always got to put a word on it, right, Pastor Chad? Go ahead and show them what the text was for today. The glory of this latter house. Elkhart, they're not shouting with me. The glory of this latter house will be greater than the former house, says the Lord. You need to shout that the glory is coming. Wow. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The benefits of revival. So you just don't get up one day and have revival. Revival is plowed years in advance. It never stops. It's a spirit that's loosed in the earth and God has loose revival in the earth. But somebody has to plow the field for revival. Yes. And we stand on the shoulders and in the shadow of our pastor who has more faith than anyone I've ever seen more ability than anybody I've ever seen, more wisdom than any man I've ever served with. And church, if we can just get up and get in. Yes, 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 yes. I said if we can just get up and get in. Get up and get in. Your family's going to be all right. Yeah. It's already better. It's already better. Your future's already better. Hallelujah. What you waste your energy on, it's already better. It's already because you're more hungry for a touch of God and a move of revival in the earth for this city than you are for your, your need. Amen? Because here's what I believe in the kingdom. The kingdom is established in, in territories. And I believe that the concern of God is great for this territory. And here's what I'll tell you. Here's what I believe. I believe when the historians write the history of our city, here in Columbus and there in our car, in Elkhart. And I believe when they write the, the story of the history of the United States of America, it's going to be impossible to write that story without the mention of this house in the story and the God of this house. That's what I believe. Because I believe that we're standing in the middle of a people led by a team that's convinced that God is able to do it and that he'll show up and show himself strong. If we'll just get in the shadow of our apostle and say, sir, lead, and we'll hold your arms up. But here's what I want to stand before you. Just sit down just for a minute and we're going to go. I want to remind you this morning that it is unacceptable for the enemy to attack our first family like it's happening. It is our responsibility to stand in the gap for our pastor and our first family, for Miss Joni and Miss Ashton and Mr. Austin. It is not acceptable. You should be spitfire mad with me and the leadership here that the enemy is attacking. But I'm going to tell you why the enemy is attacking. Because we stand on the threshold yes, yes. of the greatest demonstration of the power of God in the history of the New Testament church. Yes. The demonstration of the power of God is already breaking loose and it already got better. But the enemy knows if he can stop the point of the spear, the tip of the spear, that he can slow this train down. Well, I got good gospel news for the enemy. This train already left the station and we're going to move with God in the name of Jesus. Hey. Hey, man, sit down. You're stealing my time. Hallelujah. God is good. I love my pastor. I know you do too. But listen, we must get on the wall. Fasting and prayer must be the norm for us now. It's not a season for us. It is a norm for us. It is a season that the people of God get on the wall as watchmen on the wall for this city. For here in Columbus and Elkhart and around this world, because I believe God is cracking the seal on this thing. Here's what I'm telling you. One year ago, we started a ministry by the leading of the Holy Spirit and our pastor's direction called Russian Harvest Church. 
We're going to celebrate that anniversary in one year. Would you stand up, Sergey and Natalie? One year. The population of this city of Ru Russian-speaking people is over 30,000 people. And I met with them early this morning, and guess what I told them? It just got better. Hey! Here's why. You know why it just got better for them? Because we're going to move their whole ministry over the right road into Harvest Hall. Hey! Hey! It just got better for Russian Harvest Church. It just got better for Russian Harvest Church. It just got better for the 30,000 Russian-speaking people in our city. It just got better. Hey, what you don't know is we're going back to the seed that was plowed many years ago, if you don't know. But here's what I'm going to tell you. When we, I began to talk to Pastor and the leadership uh, about this move, and Pastor began to give us direction, I was given some news that initially it caught me off guard. Because we need about $20,000 to fix an air conditioner and a roof and to fix some plumbing over there. And, uh, and immediately fear came upon me. And oh no, what am I going to do? Because God, we believe our Pastor heard from you to do this. And God said, I've already provided. It just got better. What do you mean? God said, you tell the people and the people will provide it. So this morning, I'm just being obedient. I'm coming to you. I want the ushers to prepare because I'm coming to you. If a thousand people this morning would give $20, we'd have that need met and we could get them in there and begin to reach that population of 30,000. Amen. Here's what I've done already this morning. I've got five people in my family, plus my dad lives with us, so I've got six people. So in this envelope this morning, I put in $120, $20 for every person in my family. And as soon as I see my wife, I'm going to get another $20 because my, my second son acts like he has a girlfriend, so I'm going to put it in for her too. Everybody in my house is going to make sure that the 30,000 Russian-speaking people Hallelujah. in Columbus, Ohio, have an opportunity to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. Why? Because we're going to make sure it gets better. better. Elkhart, if you're watching, I know you are, and if you're watching online with us, I want you to just to click on that tab right there and join us in giving online. I don't want to hear a report tomorrow that we were short. I want to see a report tomorrow that it was more than enough because I heard from God and I know that we're going to seize this opportunity to make sure that it gets better for the hurting, the bleeding, and the dying of the Russian harvest speaking people, the Russian speaking people in our city. So ushers, as you begin to pray, prepare, if you want to use a credit card this morning, you can do that. You can text to give right online. 45777. Just give it like you normally would. Put the dollar sign, your amount for your family, each person in your family, and WHC. And that'll be given at this time. If you're doing by envelope and you want to use a credit card, just write that information on there. And listen, I believe that above and beyond, God is going to do it. Amen? Amen. Because we care about the Russian-speaking people of our city. Because we stood here today and prophesied that it just got better. Amen? See, what God does is not only for me, it's for them. The 576,000 people who are far from God within 12 miles of this room here in Columbus and the multiplied thousands within 10 miles of our Elk Elkhart campus. Why? Because it just got better. Amen. Amen. Ushers, would you receive this seed? I want mine in first. Amen. Thank you, Brother Jimmy. Amen. Wait upon the people this day.
And as you're giving your offering, I just want to remind you, we're going to go of what is happening here in this September to remember. Of course, this, I don't know how many of you are aware, but pastor was one of the rare exceptions at 9-11 of one of the pastors that was allowed to go to ground zero and to be there on 9-11. And here we are 17 years later, and on the 17th anniversary of that happening in our nation, our pastor is going to go to the tomb of the unknown soldier on Tuesday on that anniversary. He's going to lay a wreath on behalf of this ministry and this house at the tomb of the unknown soldier. See, God's up to something. And this is a big thing. And then on Wednesday night, right here, the apostle and the prophet, those two gifts will be together here and in Elkhart on Thursday. So Elkhart, we're believing God. As you believe God for us on Wednesday, we're believing God for the apostle and the prophet as they're with you on Thursday to see great things. This time, we'd like to dismiss our online audience. I want to thank you for joining us. Watch on Tuesday on Facebook Live and on Rod Parsley TV for the, for the updates of what Pastor is doing in D.C. And then on Wednesday night, join us right here. But if you're within a thousand miles of this place, crawl here, start walking now. Get here and get in this room on Wednesday night or in Elkhart on Thursday night because God is about to do a thing among us. Amen. Thank you, online audience. Amen.